Hello, Trashy Dele, Trashy Dele, Tama Trashy Dele. Welcome to my channel, Sonam Toronto. And today, I'm gonna show you a very helpful tips. So this is how you going to maintain and tune up your iMac. So this is all about uh, iMac, uh, Mac, MacBook, Mac Pro, Mac Air. So it applies to all, right? Any Apple computer. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna demonstrate that one. But before that, uh, I'm going to explain you three question and answer why it is so important. So stay tuned. Thank you. But make sure subscribe, like, and comment, please. Thank you. Okay. Um, the first question is what is first aid in Mac? Disk. First Aid is a free software utility made by Apple Inc. That was bundled with all computers running the classic Mac OS operating system. This tool verifies and repairs a limited number of directory structures problem on any HFS hard disk or volume. So HFS stands for Hierarchical File System and is the file system used for organizing files on a Macintosh hardware disk. So this means disk space can be used much more efficiently on large hard disk, especially like mine is one TB hard drive so one terabyte hard drive so especially large hard disk hard disk that's uh, helpful for that so second question answer is when to use first aid if your computer is crashing frequently displaying cryptic error message or exhibiting unusual behavior you can use first aid as a first step to check for defect and in many cases repair them if however your volume has suffered severe corruption you may need to use other utility program or repair methods even if you are not getting error, it is a good idea to run first aid periodically. So mine is I use twice a, a month, which is really good. That's why my computer run like crazy up to now. It is seven years old. My iMac is seven years old now. So this preventive maintenance can help keep small problem from developing into a bigger one. So remember guys, first aid, is very, first aid is very important. So the third question is, will first aid on Mac erase files? No, not at all. It doesn't erase anything. But the damage may be so severe that it cannot be repaired. You could already have a data loss. It is also possible that a repair of a badly damaged disk could result in data loss such as if the failure is a hardware issue and the repair uh, causes it to fail completely so these three things now you know why uh, the first aid is important for for all the Apple uh, Macs so thank you stay tuned I'm gonna demonstrate you how to do that very simple few steps okay i hope it helps you and make sure 
subscribe and share please share if someone might need that okay guys so I'm gonna show you now the bottom lines are all icons and these two icons launchpad and finder will take you both to the application so see if you press that all the application you will see here or go to finder and then you go to application click right application second and now go to utility double click okay utility will take you to this these icons and you are going to press disk utility the picture shows with the hard drive with the stethoscope so press double click and now there are two uh, drives here like Macintosh high definition and Mac high definition data so two there are two separated so you go first select that one which is already highlighted and go to first eight double click and then first it run click on run now this tells you if there is any files that running background will stop everything okay continue now here you go all the applications are displaying here I mean the files So all files are organizing see now first eight process is complete click done to continue operation successful so there is no problem done now the second we have to go to Macintosh high definition data and then go click to first eight again run same thing continue see my computer is running really fast because I do this twice a month so it keeps me really good and smooth and fast so this is the beauty of uh, Apple computers it will last forever but it's a little bit expensive so mine is seven years old still running like crazy see so I definitely recommend to you guys to run this first eight once in a while so that your computer will run like a thunderball so please you do so there you go first aid process is complete click done to continue operation successful done boom so after this you will see on the screen is you know other volume you have 17.49 and then the free space is 728.56 GB gigabyte right I have this much right now minus one TV actually you see here so the system volume data capacity one TV 
and available 723 used 253.96 GB that's I used in that computer so this will tell you everything how much they organized and how much they make use free space right so this is about it thank you very much thanks for watching my channel thank you bye bye so guys before wrap up I definitely say Apple computers are very reliable so I like Apple computers because Apple Mac OS all the OS right operating system uh, does come with uh, what do you call come with built-in malware uh, virus detection so that is the beauty and Apple computers will last forever you know so let's say my computer I bought it seven years ago and I paid <clears throat> that time I paid around if I'm not wrong like 1600 or something right six six one thousand six hundred and change so now it's seven over seven years and it's still running like really good so I would recommend you to buy Apple because the reason number one if I bought a regular laptop or regular computer like HP Asus and whatever you call it the other than Apple I would have been bought uh, now for seven years maybe three or four so by that time uh, the, the laptop costs you around the, the regular laptop costs you around like 1200 1000 or 800 so times three now even let's say 800 right? so 2400 you already spent for nothing because this laptop they don't have a uh, built-in malware and the virus antiviruses so the apple does that right that's the beauty right and even though you have a up, upgrade right so when you do that uh, you know why we are doing this uh, updates because apple you have to do update it's very necessary because the reason number one you know there are a lot of you know hackers that attacks the file and send the viruses and so these they make your computer you know disaster so you can buy more and then you can buy antivirus that's how they're purposely they do that right this hackers they do that but the Mac Apple computers they the system built they can fight it so that's why when you update and the new threat comes and they can challenge it and they can solve to the software that's that's why we are doing upgrade so guys buy a good one and it will last forever right then buying the cheaper one and then you buying again and again by the time you uh, certain years go by you pay more than that I would say double almost right so it doesn't make sense please that's my uh, tip the last tips and you should go for it and thank you very much and I see you again with more educational uh, tools. So thank you very much and see you again. Tashi Delek.